Did you know that most creators on YouTube with over 500 subscribers have access to community posts? In today's Canva tutorial, you will learn how to create an animated GIF for your community tab, which can also double for an Instagram animated post if you download it a different way. Welcome to the Canva classroom, everybody. Let's get started. YouTube lets you know the best aspect ratio to work with when you upload images, but I have found that the square Instagram size works really well for my YouTube channel. In the template section of Canva, look up the phrase, did you know? If the template has a crown on it, it is a Canva Pro template, which means that it cannot be selected if you have a Canva free account. If you are a free user, you might want to check out this tutorial on how to find free templates faster. I'll leave a link for you in the description. So I am going to use this one, which is a pro template today. Be sure to come back on Friday because I'll be doing a frugal Friday dupe of this Canva pro template. So the first thing I'm going to do is change this to breaking news. Did you know? And let me type out here. Now, let me go and bring that out a little bit. I'm actually going to make it a little bit bigger. Resize it. Put my handle there. How can I make this look more like something that I would post? I'm going to go over here to something called styles. If you don't have styles there, you just need to look in your more section and there will be a style icon here instead. I'm going to click this one that says lion palette because I want, I want, I want it like this black on one side and a plain color in the background. So now I'm going to play with it, but look at this. I could, I could do lots of things here. I could just go to colors here, change around with it and try different color combinations depending on the season or the year. And this is a very cool thing that Canva offers. You can even try different fonts this way by going to the fonts and trying different font combinations. If you have Canva Pro, then your Canva Pro fonts will be listed there for you. I'm going to click this yellow because I now want this yellow to be this color. I'm going to change the color here to black. Nope, not that one. The same color that's there. And for this one, I'm going to change it to white, I think. I tell you what, I'm still not feeling it. What about white here? Yes, there we go. Okay, this looks pretty great, but how do I animate it? You can animate a number of things, but for me, I'm just going to animate the square, this rounded square right here, animate, and I'm going to do a pop, which is a pro animation. However, there are plenty of free animations you can try, like rise or pan, fade, tumble is even a fun one. I might animate that to pop as well. There we go, pan. So I've got a pan on one and a pop on the other. What I'm going to do is duplicate this. So I right click down here and duplicate it. And then I'm going to get rid of everything on top. I'm going to go to elements, question, pattern. Go to graphics, but I'm just going to grab this one. This one's called question mark seamless pattern. And what I'm going to do is take it and make it the same size as the background. I'm going to change it to white. And then actually, before I give it a transparency, I want to show you something. I'm going to crop this down because I just want the question marks to be on the right side of this. So double click and now you can crop it in. So I crop it in the same size as the black on the background. And then I click out of it and there we go. I'll give a transparency. And that was just to help you be able to see it. 
The other alternative to that is to just take your question marks and move them over here off the side like this. If I take this top and I control C on the keyboard and I go over to this one and control V, it will pop up right in place. I'm actually gonna send it all the way to the back and then send this rectangle to the back. That way it's right in place. If I feel like it's too much at this point, then I can reduce the transparency even more. I'm gonna give him an outline. Shadows, we're gonna do a glow shadow. Take the blur down to nothing and the transparency all the way up. Change it to white. Maybe make it a little bigger and apply. Let's click share. Download, we're gonna to go to a GIF one. It's still working for me. You see how it says saving pause? So it's not gonna let me download until it's through thinking. Download. Here's my YouTube channel. I'm gonna to go to community tab and we're gonna post it. By the way, last week you learned how to make this and I said that it was really great for engagement, really great to understand your audience better. I actually have four different people that have commented on it. And of course, I reply to each one. It's just really great way to get to know your audience. Go here to image, because while it is a GIF, you upload it the same way as you would an image. So click image, drag up to five images or GIFs, Select from your computer, and here it is. And let's see, you see? So it's popping up and it's popping out. You know what? I'm gonna X out of this, go back to Canva. Now, if you didn't like that pop animation, some other things that you could do, let's remove this animation here. You could animate the text. So here we go, animate. We could do a typewriter, breaking news, and breaking news would just go over and over again. In fact, I like that better. I'm gonna change my community post here. First, I'm gonna copy what I had here and then delete. I will grab it again. That's great. We'll schedule it again for later today. I'm gonna go back to the eighth. And then let's make this four o'clock schedule. I mentioned earlier that you can use this as an Instagram post if you want. Well, first you could just use it here without it being animated by clicking share, download, and changing this to a PNG if you don't want it animated. If you want it animated, then just change it to an MP4 video and download. You cannot upload a GIF to Instagram, but you can upload an MP4. If you like the style of post, but don't have Canva Pro, be sure to check out the Canva tutorial in the description below. It's also on your screen right now to tap into. If you like today's Canva tutorial, please let me know by pushing that like button. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on a single lesson, and I'll see you next time. Bye.